Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark and I'm a double major studying computer science and language in mind with a minor in game design and I'm working on a pretty big project. I wanted to announce it to everybody today, an update on why it's relevant to the channel and how you yourself can get involved. Long story short, and there are corresponding timestamps to when I go more into each of these. I'm gonna be starting a development log for the game I'm working on in January. I'm gonna be involving my friends who are also working on their various project as a part of this video series to sort of put a twist on the devlog format. And lastly, I want to involve you, the viewer, in terms of writing comments on updates on your own personal projects or whatever you're working on in your life. That's the short of it. There's gonna be a Discord server going public in late January. As of recording this on December 23rd, we've gotten a lot of work done, which is awesome. Anyway, if you're interested to know more about the background, I'm about to get into that. So make sure you get some water to stay hydrated and let's get started. Just to, you know, begin, there are a very small amount of things that have had such a strong impact on my life as the decisions I made in the fall of 2019. And I thank those things for standing upon the strongest foundation I know. One of those things was the dive into social accountability, and I want to bring that gift to you. To anyone who comes across this video, whether it be one person, 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, I want you to be inspired to work on your own personal projects and to work on them with other people. Everyone working individually, but also together. Members of some united community with one common goal. Anyway, let's rewind a moment to the source of inspiration for this idea. Back in high school, I did a independent study for a semester in 3D animation. One of my best friends throughout elementary, middle, and high school, who I regrettably haven't spoken to a lot recently, had this great idea for a short film, and I wanted to make it in the 3D environment. Was I going to do that in four months as a senior in high school? Of course not. About a year ago, after playing the game What Remains of Edith Finch, I realized this would make a great walking simulator game. And at the end of this year, regardless of it being the end of the year, but more so the end of my semester, I'm committing, and this video is that commitment, to make this game. I don't know how long this game is going to take me, but I want to make Seashell into a game that makes people feel, and I want the process to be something that makes people inspired, that creates joy and inspires connection. I had these grand ideas, but I never committed, and that's what this video is. The step past the point of no return. As a result, I want you to join me in working on your own projects. All right, coming a little more closer to the present, about two weeks ago, I realized, what if I made Seashell into a series of devlogs? I wanna start this ball rolling now so that when the summer comes around and students like myself can make the time for these commitments, there's already this community, this buildup to, to help them be inspired and for them to join this existing community. I wanted to start these videos to make myself accountable in the public eye by uploading a video every single Friday at 8 p.m. measuring the progress I've made or the progress that I haven't made. Maybe one will be a day in the lifestyle. Maybe one will be a voiceover of the progress I've gotten done over the week. Some days it might be me letting you guys know I haven't gotten anything done at all. Regardless, I took an extra class this past semester and I had so much stuff going on that all of a sudden I feel like I can make time for more things and this project is something I want to make time for and I want to make it bigger than itself. That being said, it occurred to me, what if I branched out more? What if I branched out to my friends? My friend Zaf is making this note-taking app that I've been using in my everyday workflow. I have another friend who's making game of his own, and I've loved seeing those progress reports over the past few years. Two of my friends are working on books, a friend of mine who's studying film is making films, and I want to make them all a part of this, this core accountability network. I've got another group, Happy Brain, where I work on my general goals and specifically share my academic achievements, and we all kind of inspire each other and talk, and you know, I wouldn't be where I am without that Happy Brain group, without this creative council to get these ideas flowing. The idea here is to bring one of the most impactful things that I have gone through, one of the most impactful things I've been a part of, and bring that to all of you and be a part of it together. And that leads me into this big epiphany. At the end of every video, I could have this two or three minute conversation with Zaf or Chris about what they've been working on. And I could also devote a portion of the video to you, the viewer. I have over a thousand subscribers now. I've gained 300 in the past 28 days alone, which to me is wild after being stuck at 300 for eight years. I think it would be great to get everyone in on this. I am a hobbyist at heart and I want to inspire everyone else to work on their personal projects, to work on what inspires them. Whole rant aside, but things like school can really take it out of us. And at the end of the day, are we tired or are we just uninspired? And if it's the latter, that's what I want this community to be all about. I'm so thankful to all the support I've been getting. The 1k subs video and the Todoist mug video had some awesome supportive comments on them. I've been receiving a lot of support from the typing community. Those videos that I make always get a ton of views and I'm so appreciative of it, but I don't want to always be known for my typing video. That's at like 130,000 views. I'm on my way to 200 words per minute, but I want to be known for something else as well. I want to be a source of inspiration for my friends, a source of inspiration for my followers, for my audience 
audience and a source of inspiration for myself because in the words of Simon Sinek, inspiring others is the way to inspire yourself. The comments I get inspire me to keep going. It's why I respond to 99% of the comments that I get. I can respond to all of them, so I do. As a result, because communities are such a big part of everything I do, I want to include the viewers in each and every devlog video. Will we get participation right off the bat? I don't know. My expectations of myself are kind of low, but I'm going to be releasing a video every Friday by 8 p.m. starting on January 1st. This is a kind of coincidental start because of the new year, but quite frankly, it has everything to do with my semester ending and my next one beginning. I'm taking a solid break of nothingness this week, the week of the winter holidays, and I've been getting bored, but positively bored because boredom breeds creativity. You know, the idea is that if you ever want to be included in one of these Friday videos, you just drop a comment on whatever you're working on. Whether it be a game like me, catching up on music practice, working on schoolwork, whatever it is, no limits, just share it with me. Share it with everybody in the community. Let me know what what's an idea you've been wanting to get on. Do you follow this idea of New Year's resolutions? Is there something you've been itching to start? Any progress you make is progress. Even when you notice you haven't made progress, I consider that progress. All in all, I want to foster another community, and that community starts with you. When I made a Minecraft server at 13 years old, I didn't think it was going to last more than a few months. When I was 15, I thought to myself, you know, I should be thankful and appreciative of these moments and the friends I've made, because when I'm 20, I'm not going to be running a Minecraft server. I'm 20, and I'm still running a Minecraft server. All of those members, and quite literally, we have grown up together over the past few years. This Minecraft server on Discord has become more of a hobbyist community. Anyway, I'll be announcing the Discord server for all of this uh, toward the end of January about. We've got all the channels laid out. I did all of that stuff today with a few others and we're going to get some bot stuff working out, rules and channel descriptions all ready to go. So by the fourth or fifth devlog, I'm like, hey guys, join the Discord. I'd love to talk to you live. I'm still pretty small right now and I'm really looking forward to interacting with as many people as I can. And the idea here is that at some point I can be taken out of the picture. You can make new friends through this community. Be that community that I had a couple years ago that I have now that I'm making best friends through. So this is your call to action. If if you're in, join me. Make the commitment now and get the ball rolling. Find some way to go past the point of no return. One way I've looked at this is in a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, what are you doing on a daily basis? If you're looking to get better at art and you've only drawn one time this week, then next week, shoot for two times a week. Shoot for 15 minutes a day. And over time, build those habits. Start that now. Start the habits that you're going to have in 2022 and 2023 now. I've got a video on progress and more about that coming out in a little bit, so we'll move on from that. But the idea is write down where you want to be? What are the habits you need to get there? And then join me. Let me know in the comments down below. What is a big project you're going to work on? Do you want to look back in a year and say, you know what? I am conversationally fluent in the Russian language now. That's what I said last year. And guess what? I'm not fluent in. Anyway, on January 1st, when my first official devlog video goes live, I'm just going to show you the infrastructure I have set up for Seashell so far. I hope to see you in the comments. I want to see what you're working on. I'm small right now. So I'll definitely be there to cheer you on in the comments. Even in the event that I get to a point where I can't respond to every comment, which is a very really long way out, I will be reading as many as I can because just know that I'm going to be rooting for you. And that's what the community is all about. It's not just about me rooting for you, but everyone rooting for each other, everyone working on their own individual projects, everyone growing their own trees to make up some stupid metaphor while getting cheers from everybody else. And lastly, I ask that you have a little belief that you can do this. Believe that if you choose a project to make, if you really make that commitment, you can absolutely do it. In fact, you will do it. If you don't believe in yourself right now, like I didn't believe in myself a few years ago and you know I still have my ups and downs then know that I believe in you that I am rooting for you to get this thing done to grow into someone who you want to be to grow into a better you if I have finally made it to a thousand subscribers after over 1100 videos over the span of eight years if I've made it to 15 concurrent players on a Minecraft server before if I've made a custom mini game in Java if I've self-studied for an AP biology exam if I have made a commitment to make a video game with an entire community of people then so can you and of course I look forward to you joining me. So don't forget to check back in Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment on what you're going to be working on. All in all, I look forward to you joining me and the rest of us on this pretty cool hobbyist journey. Until next video, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. I look forward to you joining me.